Um, but I think just the all black just looks so menacing and looks so cool. Let's see what else. Yes, this is the coolest one. What's up, guys? This is Sancho West, and this video is everything you need to know or everything that I know regarding Uncharted 4 Survival Co-op. A little bit is a mix of the PlayStation experience that I get to play. You get a little bit of opinion on that. At the same time, Naughty Dog did a reveal stream on Tuesday, and they not only revealed Survival Co-op, which is already seen, but I did not know that they were working on a King of the Hill beta mode. It's in beta, meaning that we're going to work on it, give us some feedback. And they got some new classic weapons, and they also have a lot of awesome customization available. Now, this video is going to break that all down for you guys, so you will be up to speed and give you guys a little insight on what survival co-op is all about. There's a lot of information that they were unable to cover during the stream. Go to twitch.tv slash Naughty Dog and look in the video on demand section. you like to do that. So let's just go ahead and do that. Now, they kicked off the stream with a cool trailer uh, made by... I believe Grant Vogel. Grant Vogel is, for those of you who don't know, a long time Last of Us YouTuber. Got hired by Naughty Dog. Started there, and now he's making trailers from Naughty Dog. So shout out to my boy Grant. You're awesome, man. Uh, he also made the village trailer. So a lot of the work that you're seeing is Grant. So my apologies in advance because what ended up happening when I was doing this, I accidentally keyed out the green. So you may see my name in there. But I'm not going to play the whole trailer. I'm going to go ahead and skip around. Now, uh, to the most important part, see, like, see uh, what I say. Look, 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 look. Anyway. Hey, look at Sam. You charming son of a gun. Uh, some of the thing gets keyed out on accident. My, Oops, my bad. I, I don't have, they didn't have a YouTube version of this, so I apologize. So anyway, so there is, we'll just play this out real quick a little bit. There is new vanity items, as you can see. There's a warrior element, and we're going to take a closer look at some of the warriors. The skins as well is a, a biker skin. So we're going to take a closer look at all that, but this is a new taunt. has a classic I have the power He-Man style. I like it. He-Man, but his is a cutlass and not a broadsword. But that's not a hero here or there. Let's see. Let's go. See, that looks just cool. And then Sam doing that charming thing. Now, this is really cool. This is the color palette, which I'll show you a little bit of. Now, each skin is has a color palette, which is like kind of like the shaders in Destiny, when you could click to it and it has a different color set. And each character's all their skins, not their, I believe, not their pre skins, just their regular skins that you could customize in terms of adding hats and whatnot, have this available to them so you could further customize your thing. They're not going to be individual, so you can't say, I want a red this and a red pant. You can't do that. Each one of them are like a preset, but it just adds so much uh, flexibility to it. Let's see what else. Of course, they got new. Uh, you know, okay, this is huge. Of course, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna show you guys more of the vanity items that I have. Again, I have some of this mixed in with my P, my PlayStation experience, and some of this from their Twitch stream. Five returning classic weapons. That's crazy. All previous weapons. Some of the previous weapons from so Uncharted 2 and 3 are making it back in Uncharted 4. And this is not a heavy weapon. This is a Pack 80 that you don't need to reload. It's like a heavy weapon. It's scary. When I saw it on stream using Aaron Daly was rocking it. Woo! It was scary. So it has a crazy recoil. You move a little bit slower with it. If you get it into cover, the recoil is reduced. But I cannot. I don't know, man. When you see this thing with modifiers, this thing can melt. So it has no no um, crazy uh, uh, reload. So that's, that's nuts. But that is coming back. There's the Pack 80. The Micro 9 is back. The Para uh, 9 is back as well as the M4. Those are all made comebacks. And then the fifth one is the Desert Eagle as the heavy weapon. And the Desert Eagle is a three-shot uh, body and one to the head. And it gets it down. And it comes with ten bullets. Now, the thing is, though, it doesn't... It's, I mean, it's not as powerful as the uh, Baroque. I mean, one extra bullet. But it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to keep playing it a little bit here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, this is that M4 looks very accurate its accuracy is very high I'm not quite sure its power though it didn't look too too sexy you know, in terms of it, of its play that I saw during the stream but it sounds great and looks cool uh, again when they introduce new weapons guys there is a little bit of a feeler out period you know there's a little bit of a period and then they'll they'll balance it so we'll see where it goes because a lot of people what I've seen on the forums were very concerned about the pack 80. But look, the next screen, it's a little keyed out, so I apologize. You're going to see, okay, it doesn't look this way. You can see my stuff in the background. Again, I apologize, but that's the Desert Eagle, and it makes this, the, so you can see, I, I'm not trying to advertise myself, I'm just saying, but I digress. Let's move on. So let's go ahead and let me show you guys some things 
Let me go to this screen right here. Let's go to team do, do, boop, boop. All right, so a, look, a closer look at it. As you can see, there's Powder Puff Drake, Pirate Drake. Uh, again, these alt uh, these alter any of the the, the colors that you have there, uh, which is really cool. And uh, um, one of the things I wanted to show you is let's see, the Power Puff yeah, of course is all in pink, not very camouflage uh, camouflage friendly. But one of the ones that they did show is what they show right here is again my logo showed up. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to key it out. Uh, the thing is, and I don't have time to re-record it. Is where is it? Smoke Drake. I like it. it looks pretty cool. Uh, there it is. Let's go back. There you go. Crash. A little shout out to Crash Bandicoot, the nice orange, which orange. You know, works for me so there's that right there and all these I'm not quite sure how you get those yet but my bet is they're gonna be chests now for those of you wondering the whole economy of the relic system has been overhauled as well a lot of the vanity items are, are reduced in price there is a new thing if you buy uncharted points it puts you in a VIP program which also further discounts uh, buying any items for you. So it, it, there's a lot of new things that I didn't get into um, Know that the relics you could get relics in co-op survival and that there are, there are ways there are boosters for relics So they want to make this a little bit easier for you to grind out um, from what I understand And I'm not quite sure how do you get these color things, but my bet is it has to still do with uh, Chest unlocks random whatever rolls. Anyway, let's see what else uh, so those are that. That's really awesome. A lot of the community has been asking though for that for a while. Let's go to jump ahead into uh, this right here. So this is cool. For those people, they increase the levels up to, I uh, believe, 90. So they increase it up to 90. At 85, you get the Jin skin of the Undying Blood. So this really cool demonic looking blood skin and then at level 90 you get the undying wraith skin so it looks pretty crazy so there, there's the one that looks pretty cool this is you unlock at level 90 so for those of you people trying to grind out the now this is just multiplayer levels there is a separate co-op level more on that later so as you can see there nice little nice little nods for those people who still like rocking i haven't got there i don't know about you guys let's jump ahead a little bit more to let's see so actually yeah let me just show you guys this thing right here so they introduced king of the hill now king of the hill is quite exciting in my opinion because it just adds a little element to it for the pvp there's more it's good to know that more modes again for those who are wondering where classic mode is it is most likely coming back after the new year it, and right now they're going to beta test king of the hill i'm not quite sure if it's this weekend or for the other following weekend but my bet we're going to have it for a while here um, but let's check it out now the way let me explain king of the hill uh, for you guys it's very much so like traditional king of the hill uh, let me just fast forward into, into the action it's very much for, and of course if you see something weird in it i apologize the green is keyed out i gotta keep saying that because i don't want you guys to walk away and this is pulled from the stream so the quality is pretty low because i had to rip it so as you can see here um it's a clinking, traditional king of the hill it, what it does is for your following team you have to sit on it of course as soon as you capture it then as a defender of that area if you, as soon as you go down you can no longer respawn thus allowing the attacking team to re to recapture it you have to hold the hill for every 30 seconds you get to see where the hill is and then it sits there for about 10 seconds or so and then it finally unlocks for you to capture so your point is you see a point you go get it and then as soon as you capture it then you can start scoring it's about 30 seconds and you can max out at 60 points so you cannot go crazy and just overhaul it and it does rotate as time goes on so as you can watch here a little bit in the action it there's this is prison map uh there are a lot of various hot spots that like to that like to pull the players in some of them are more open and some of them are very tight as you can see what things we can do as others but um that is the king of the hill mode and it is going to be available uh right at the update when it's and again the update's about 3.7 gigs or so 3.7 gigs for the update uh, but as you can see here now we're moving on to the train wreck and there's a nice little new taunt there a disco taunt one thing i wanted to point out i did not notice this hold on but before i forget there is something that i wanted to show you guys that i think you might find interesting for the people that were asking for the holiday spirit look look elf hat look look elf hat the elf hat which leads me to believe that there's much more around but i just had to show that guys before i forget anyway back to where i was so as you can see here it's it's just another fun mode 
to unlock. No, nothing really crazy in terms of uh, anything surprising regarding it. It's just king of the hill. It's really nice to have in competitive play if you get spectator mode. That way we could have this kind of because kind of mix it up and it prevents people from camping in regards to hiding. Yes, there's camping in king of the hill, but it is it is part of the objective, but it's interesting to see. The only bad thing is this coming out during co-ops. I won't be able to get my hands on it in terms of playing it right out the gate. Enough about all that King of the Hill about multiplayer competitive. Let's talk about co-op now. Co-op now for some of you that are interested. There are 12 new trophies. Also, uh, the one of the things that I wanted to point out is that this is the footage that I captured at PlayStation Experience when I saw Naughty Dog was streaming. I decided, you know, just to hold off on some of the things. But now that I could, now that they showed you, I could kind of talk about it more in depth into regards. So this is something that you could switch over. You know, see, you could switch over. There's two different sides. There is survival co-op, survival multiplayer. It will remember the last thing you were in. And so, like, if you're in multiplayer, then you you close it down. You close app. It will re boot right back up to multiplayer. The uh, this is something that is quite it's very interesting and different the way they do their boosters the way they do their leveling as soon as you boot into it you're going to be level one and then you could level up up to the 50 levels i'll explain a little bit more about that in detail but this is it right here this is awesome i like i like just just looking at a different screen uh feels nice to me so let's go to this one right here so of course there are difficulties Light and moderate are are the ones that you're gonna have out the gate. Light and moderate have the ability to have auto aim for those people who want to trophy hunt, all those things like that. You can have auto aim, so that way you don't have to worry about any kind of an experience uh, in terms of you know you don't have to be too skilled to to work on those. Hard and things like that, and I believe crushing will not be available. I know crushing will not be available. Hard will not be available as well. I think light and mo uh, moderate are available out the gate. Then you have to unlock hard, unlock unlock crushing um, a little bit more about the player buff limited to level 20 I'll get into that as soon as I show you the screen but this is all the things available hardcore mode they said that they won't talk about until after the new year it's not available now uh, I know some details on that but since they didn't say it on stream I won't say it here uh, but it's going to be a doozy let's go ahead and go to the next screen right here so as soon as you boot in and uh, as soon as you select it they have set stages, stage one through ten. They are five waves apiece. You could find a match between any stage. You could find a match between stages one through five. You could find a match between six through ten. So there is matchmaking available. I just want to get this out. Uh, just say this that there is solo co-op that will place you with the AI, but you need an internet connection for to play it and to have stats tracked and things like that. But you do not need a PlayStation Plus to play survival co-op with an AI solo, if that makes sense. You just need to be connected to the internet and then you could do that. If you wanna play with teammates, if you wanna do matchmaking up to three, you need to have a PlayStation Plus and an internet connection to do those kinds of things for allow matchmaking to work. Again, so it's uh, they call it dynamic, dynamic drop-in, which I will talk about on the next screen. But as you can see here, all the stages are set. They're not rotating. Usually you'll get the same type of objectives inside it. There is uh, certain objectives inside those modes. Uh, I, if you've seen some of my videos that go into it where there's basic survival and, and there's an uh, objective based one called treasure rush and siege mode and things of that sort, marked man, all those kinds of things are available. Usually from what I was, from what I understand, usually the second stages like two, four, six, I believe maybe eight and ten have bosses so I'm not quite sure if there are a variety of bosses we've already seen two bosses one is the gen boss uh, and then the other one is a teleport boss so those are the only two that I've seen so far but from what I understand they're supposed to be two a boss in those fourth the, the, the two four six eight and ten but all those as you can see the stars you get by finishing the level within the set amount of time if you are a solo player, these times won't change. So it is encouraged for you to find a player to play these with at least so you could get these ones uh, taken care of, not, not knocked out of the way. So these ch uh, times won't change if you're a solo player. Uh, of course, the times do change when you go up to crushing and hard crushing and uh, whenever hardcore. So these do change uh, and also their XP changes. There is a the XP it, it increases as the higher you go up so the more rewards you unlock in that harder stages the more uh, crazier it gets 
The difference between normal, crush, hard, and crushing is usually the type of enemies you run into uh, and the amount of the different modifiers that they have. So like pistols only things, all those crazy things happen that I haven't seen yet. I've only seen up to hard at Auction House, which is available on my YouTube channel. So these are all the stages. They're, they don't rotate. They're anything like that. They're set in stone so you guys could, could, could create different kind of uh, strategies and whatnot. Uh, let's go to the next one. Do, 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 do. All right. So, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost forgot about that. Let me make sure. I don't want to miss anything. Okay. So, you get that. So, this one right here is challenge types. Now, remember, just like the traditional challenge types, what you can do is you could select uh, challenges that have to do for survival only, or you could select ones that do competitive only. So, instead of, like, say, you don't want to do, uh, you know, say you just want to do multiplayer challenges only and it will be the, just the traditional ones that you've always been dealing with like get mine downs all those kinds of things but you could have it where it's a mix or you could say okay i'll jump into survival for a bit knock out this relic challenge uh, uh you know do it easy and get a couple of relics in there and there or i just want survival only i do not want to do any of the other challenges in terms of competitive multiplayer play you have those options to knock those out so they work just like normal challenges uh, let me do it here. All right. So, player buffs. Now, this is completely different from building out a loadout in the regular multiplayer. These are, an, this is an unlock screen. So, you don't necessarily build a traditional loadout. You unlock weapons. You unlock gear and mysticals and heavy weapons and, and one-time boosters and boosters in general that you can buy with the in-game cash store to buy in your arsenal. So if you remember from my footage that I go to this big chest and it unlocks and, uh, and I could buy certain things from the in-game cash that I earn in the wave. So this is not something you build out. Uh, this is just to show you what you have unlocked. Again, the, the, the bosses themselves drop, have a weapons drop that have a different level of weapons. Uh, they go up to level 5, which they change the modifiers. Some have increased uh, clip capacity, rate of fire, or like re recoil, things like that, and damage increase as you go along. Um, let me see, do I have a slide? So, player buffs, there is 1 through 50. Uh, the way they describe player buffs, you, you're, the, way, the more you level up your co-op rank, you unlock an RPG element that like says increase health, increase damage. And so just like an RPG, your HP goes up, right? And then, in, or your damage output goes up the more you level up. So you could keep going and be able to be a stronger player, like your character will be stronger, thus allowing you to handle the NPCs easier. Now each mode has a, has a, uh, a cap, a player buff cap. So even though you're a player 50, you will only have access up to the player buff of 20 in moderate. And then when you're hard, you can only have access to the player buff of 40. So this is a great way, a great way of scaling it for a little bit. Now you will still have access to your weapons that you unlock, that different level weapons. So if you're playing with a friend that's a level one, you can still jump up and moderate, and you won't be too strong. Um, and all the the enemies stay the same. So your your, your buddy might have a problem. Um, from what I is like, if you drag him over into hard, good luck to that guy. Um, but those are the things that I think, and they really strongly encourage you to level up as much as possible and that crushing anything lower, like you're not gonna be able to do crushing on level 20. That's what they are like, no, that's not that's not possible um, because the enemies are so strong. So like I said, everything that you see here, the things that you can unlock in your arsenal. So if you don't have a Spazzati unlocked yet, you're not gonna be able to uh, use it in the arsenal from what, I, from what I understand, from what I understand. Uh, again, all things are from what I played. If things could change by tomorrow, by a couple hours, I'm not quite sure. But this is what I play, and this is what I understand from watching the stream. Now, this is pretty cool. This is about the dynamic drop-in that you have here. Uh, so you could start wherever you want, right? You could start on stage two, like, feel like today I feel like doing wave 10 today, or I feel like doing wave 50 today. Um, as soon as you unlock it, you can always drop in. Now, you could mark it to where start game open or start game friends only start game open again this is only available if you have playstation plus and an online connection internet connection Star start game open means anybody random player could join your game and help you out now that is you know up to you know what up to three up to the full amount 
Now, start getting friends only as anyone on your friends list can jump in. So if you see someone like they look at you like, oh, man, so and so is in trouble. Let me jump in their game and you're allowed and boom, you can drop in. Now, from what I understand, you could lock it out if you want to go solo, um, but that is available for you and you could do that at any time. And say also a player leaves. So say you you jump in and you're with a full team of random dudes and you're just playing and then all of a sudden one leaves, a computer AI NPC will take over for that. So you don't have to worry about being left alone if it's on crushing and you're by yourself and all of a sudden everyone drops out or someone loses connection you can still continue with an ai teammate so um it's really good it's really good so it's not it's not that bad so if it it you know drops down to one you're the only player you'll get an npc uh teammate to help you uh, a computer to help you out so really cool really cool in terms of that so you know if we had to deal with any trolls or anything like that do 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 let's see now I'm going to show you guys. Oh, there it is. There it is. Uh, this is... I just want to make sure I got everything shown to you. Uh-huh. And this is 850. Now, what is so awesome things that you could unlock is these skeleton skins. These skeleton skins are only available to unlock in survival mode, but you could use them in the multiplayer mode as soon as you unlock. So, you can show off that you're a skilled survival player. And also, when you unlock... Uh, when you beat survival mode, you'll get a nice little logo like a little badge to show that you've beaten it and that it is that is displayed and next to your name while you're running like matchmaking and things like that so you'll know be able to tell if you're running with a high level survival player like hey, i've been doing this forever type of deal anyway so these guys are the skins the skeleton skins that they have a lot of people were hoping for skelzor or you know all the other old school skeleton skins but they did say that they had to work with what they have and so they couldn't create new voices or anything like that so these are the guys that we have they just took the regular uh, drake nadine uh, Elena and I think there's some more a little bit of more I just it's just slipping my mind um, but these guys are available for unlock you get to you do 30 stars in moderate so pretty much three perfect run three level stars uh, in terms of getting all the three stars and all the levels you get the skeleton skins uh, and they look really cool in my opinion I mean, they just look scary now are they are they like the traditionals no they're not but they at least you get this creepy looking thing but uh what's really cool about it let me just play this out for a bit what's really cool about it is they have different type of colors as you can see here this one's for the hard mode you get the wraith uh, wrath one and this one which is really cool is crushing you get this compiler one but the one that i want to know is the hardcore runs completed you have to do four and you get a, the gold one which from what i understand what hard mode is It'd be pretty tough to get that one uh but those are available let's see what else do i have to show do, 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 do. Forgive me. i'm just skimming through my footage here okay let's see maybe i do show okay um maybe i do have that screen about the player buffs we'll find out so when you build a booster right you're like all right i'm gonna decide to build a booster the uh i'm sorry build a loadout the loadouts that you build out are just booster base and uh when you first start out you could uh i think you from what i see here you start out at a level you don't get many to to ride out the gate so what you're gonna need to do is you start building out your player yeah so you start out with, with basically nothing um, but let me show you what they all are so speedy g means it increases max speed run and as you can see the higher levels of fire the higher pace now all these boosters are only available to co-op the ones that you don't recognize there's no uh, competitive booster for speedy g so that doesn't exist and a lot of these ones are just for all the ones that you see are just for co-op the ones that you see that you see in regular competitive multiplayer that they, they are very similar and they stay the same so let's see so speedy g you increase by 10 percent you increase by 20 and i think the last one is 30 and then you have prize fighter now prize fighter i really do like uh, let me try to stop it. All right, Prize Fighter is really cool. Prize Fighter is really nice to have against those NPCs. So at Prize Fighter, Prize Fighter level one, that's two loadout points. Number of hits to KO enemies with regular melee reduced by one. Melee KOs are worth 20 bonus cash. Does not affect charge melee. So that's really nice. But as the higher you go up, you can essentially get an instant kill. When I was for those of you watching my footage, I was rocking Prize level uh, Fighter three. A number of hits reduced to two, 30% more cash. After KO an enemy with a charge melee attack, your next attack finishes faster. And then you have Prize Fighter 3, number of kits to KO enemies reduced by three, so it's basically a one hitter. 
Uh, melee KOs are worth 40 bucks cash after KOing an enemy with a charge melee attack, your next attack charge fire. So this is really nice to have against those survival mode waves where you, all you have to do is just kill the NPCs. Not great to have when you start having NPCs with armor that you cannot hit or tackle. So uh, those are, I really, I really like Price Fighter when I was playing it. Uh, gear Master 1, throw gear while rolling. Cash bonus for gear KOs is worth 50% more. You hold one additional gear, which is very important for some of the bosses that require an explosive stun like the gym boss. Uh, it's very nice to have Gear Master so you could go ahead and just go to town on all of, uh, you know, grenades are very, very important in terms of controlling uh, areas, uh, in terms of controlling waves that are coming at you. So at level two, you throw gear while rolling. Now you get 100% more and you can throw gear further, farther, and you hold two additional pieces of gear. At level three, it's all essentially the same thing except you get four pieces of gear and you earn gear 20% faster. So remember all the unlocks, they got rid of, they, they, you can't have revive pack because they figured it was too strong in this one. Down but not out is basically the same thing uh, that you see in the regular uh, player. Uh, helping hands the same thing as well you just revive uh, allies faster nothing crazy there in change um, some of them the only changes here is when you heal an ally back to full health uh, this yeah the same what, what am I talking about they're all the same I'm just trying to I'm just here it is dead eye dead eye is really nice to have for those sharpshooter if you're like really good at getting those headshots because you have headshot damage increased by 10% headshot KO cash worth 50% more and of course they, they increase the percentages but what's really nice about them is that uh, you get cash for your skill, so you could lean these boosters towards your skill. So you're like, man, I'm a really good dead eye, no pun intended. I could get more cash for my team, or you're like, man, I just know really how to. I go crazy. I, I like Melane. Then Price Fighter will be your good tell. So you're gonna have to figure out like, what is your relationship with your teammate? Role Master is the same thing as the previous in the multiplayer, where you could just use a heavy weapon. Combat Revive is the same thing. Um, but this one's a little bit different. Combat revive in a co-op sense is you take less damage while you're reviving. So while you're reviving someone in combat revive, you take 50% less damage, uh, which is really nice. And you could do blind fire while reviving with co-op revive. Again, these modifiers are not in competitive co -op, uh, competitive multiplayer. So you don't have to worry about that, but it's nice to have. Um, now this is cool. Quick healer one. So you when you get hit and you go to gray, this uh, modifier gets rid of that gray faster. So you have 10% increased health regeneration, 20%, and then I think this one is 30%. So all those things are very nice to have when you're in, you're in deep trouble and you're surrounded. It's nice to have that that gray, that gray get, get out of here type of vibe. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go down a little bit more. Come on, go down. You already, you already, you already saw this. Quick healer. Okay, explosive masters is really nice. Increase explosive damage. Um, very vital to have when you're fighting like against armored armored brutes and things like that explosive damage 20 percent again i just have to stress uh some people have been freaking out in the forums uh, but not available now a lot of people were wondering like when i was taunting when i was why was i purple uh this is the taunt of asgard it is what it essentially does you activate a shield of asgard for a short amount of seconds this is great for when you need to get in closer to heal or you need to you know, like an explosive surprise you, you could go ahead and taunt and you get out of there. So you need to equip something that's a little bit longer to take full advantage of those five to 10 seconds. Taunt of Asgard 2 is very nice to have. Again, it's not really meant for anything except just to get you out of trouble, just to give you a second to breathe, get your gray back. Enhanced radar, the same, nothing changes. Gunslinger's the same, Harden's the same, uh, lock and load's the same, gifting's the same. Uh, Undisturbed is the same, Science Assassin, and all the rest are the same uh, that you normally see in regards to all the ones. So this just basically showing me that I have, uh, what they did was for the demo purposes, they unlocked everything for me and I build out Speedy G, Surprise Fighter, Down But Not Out, just to, so I could, the way I could stay on my, so I could stay in a down state longer so people could pick me up. Uh, but again, uh, this is, I don't know the level max loadout level. I think it's higher than this, but this is when I was at level 30. According from what I have here, see unlocks at level 21. So all a lot of these you unlock as you go along. Unlocks at level 11. So you just unlock them as you progress. They're not they're not something where you're like, okay, I need to keep my lane. You just unlock them as you go along, um, which is something that I just had a question for. Okay. 
The ones that you see here that says unlock by purchasing DLC gameplay test is you need to have it. If you don't have the DLC already for the gameplay or you haven't unlocked it in a, in a chest, then you need to unlock it. You cannot unlock it via, via co-op survival. So those are the ones that are in the DLC booster packs. Um, but the good thing is, they, like I said, they reduce everything in regards to all that. Um, but let's go ahead and wrap it up. I appreciate you guys. I mean, I'm doing my best to cover as much as possible. So I appreciate you guys hanging with me. I do apologize for another long episode. But there's so much to cover that they didn't cover in the in the, the stream itself that I know. Um, because I talked to them uh, at PSX. Um, let's go ahead and... Down by now, three. Okay, I just want to go into okay build it out build it out okay and here he is some of the things we're gonna wrap up this video with some of the sexiness and dlc show you some of the warrior skins show you some of the biker skins in more detail uh this is again nadine uh as you can see drake was level 30 uh in terms of getting 30 stars she's 25 stars so i think all the other ones i think probably elena's lower but we'll see. So at least you'll be having the ability to run around. That's just so cool looking. You have the ability to run around in skeleton skins just by playing survival. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at these. These are by far my favorite things right here. These biker skins are really cool. Um, this is Biker Drake. And I think I have a lot of the, the heroes sh shown here, biker style. Uh, what's really cool is these guys. I'll show you the villains back. But the heroes are the Bandits of Libertalia, which is really awesome. That's a sick thing to, to have. Uh, it's just really cool looking. Uh, I, I can't imagine pulling everybody. I thought the Apocalypse screen uh, skins look cool together as a group, but this looks really dope. Um, probably my favorite is Biker Rafe, which we'll show in a second here. Let's see. Now, listen quick before we move on to those. This is the Warrior skins. Warrior Drake looking like He-Man. Yeah, that is Warrior Drake. It looks odd to have a little gun thing, but he has a knife. And this is Warrior Sully. Now, the headgear is something separate. Uh, the headpiece is different, uh, but that's Warrior Sully. Let me go ahead and let's see. Warrior Sully. Yes, this is what I wanted to show. Uh, but there's like Warrior Nadine, Warrior Eddie. They're all the cool. You see, you saw some of them in my um, previous footage. Um, but you may see so yourself. Um, this, this video may be totally unnecessary, but I just wanted to have this out. Because I promised a last video to wrap it up. Uh, but this is awesome. So the villains are the servants of El Dorado. And that's just amazing. They just look... I think they just look so much better than the, the heroes. In my opinion in regards. So that is Roman. Biker Roman. And I think... Look at... Biker Navarro looks just so cool, man. He got the chucks on. All, all black. And of course, you could use the color modifiers to mix it up a bit. Um, it could be all the pink biker gang or the power uh, the powder puff ones um, But I think just the all black just looks so menacing and looks so cool. Let's see what I yes This is the coolest one uh, Rafe biker Rafe is so cool um, a lot of people were thought that he was infamous too because but he again he had a color shader um, I think biker Rafe is by far the coolest looking thing ever just slick man just slick Let's see and of course they have pirates some of the uh the villains have pirates ones and some of the heroes who didn't have pirates now do have pirate skins um but then you're not gonna see everything here by the way um this is just the things that I, I thought was cool at the time that i thought i would be able to show you guys um immediately like last week but then you know like i said i wanted to say some things for the stream this is biker elena uh she looks awesome i mean the girls look fantastic as bikers uh, Biker Salim. It just looks cool, man. That logo looks really good. And I think that is it. That is it. And it is great. And I cannot wait. That's just really awesome, man. And then and the thing when you add it with colors, it's just so good. So good. Um, I, I did as best as I can to talk about the, the co-op. I really do enjoy it. I'm really surprised that they were able to bring on... Um, they were able to bring on this crazy thing of King of the Hill and the new weapons is, is pretty fantastic. So we have a lot to do, guys. I really do appreciate you watching. Uh, I think I answered as many questions that I remember seeing on stream. Yes, you can play as uh, Nate and Sam. Someone asked me that question. You can play as Nate and Sam as all you want. Um, yeah, 
I think that pretty much covers it. I'm really excited to play it. I am streaming this all this week, Wednesday through Friday. Um, I'm going to start tomorrow at 9 a.m. I don't think it, I don't know when it's going to drop uh, whenever you watch this, but I hope you get a good sense of what's happening. And I hope you understand, you know, you've got a good like starting point. I will do my co-op um, guides and I will do how to beat certain bosses and things like that. And I will be, um, you know, hosting a variety of things on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Sancho West. Stop on by, say hello. Um, you know, I, I, and I apologize. I'm wearing glasses today because it's like two in the morning. You know? <laughs> and I don't want to look too bad for you guys. I really do appreciate you guys' support. It's really crazy seeing the channel grow uh, with this uh, update. I'm really excited about it. If you guys have any questions, um, just drop by the stream because that'd be the easiest way to respond. I will probably be busy all week, uh, but I'll do my best to respond to them in the comments down below. Thank you again as always. I'll see you guys out there. Good luck, and let's see who is world's first in getting to 30 crushing, 30 stars in crushing. Good luck, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, ooh yeah, peace. Bye, guys.